Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be filming a video. Gosh, it's probably one of my most requested videos. I get asked to film this all the time. I'm nervous to film this video. I know religion is one of those things that people can be really sensitive about and really mean about too. And I don't want my channel to be a place of negativity or fighting or anything. So if you don't know, uh, I'm a Christian. I I've been a Christian all of my life. Basically just gonna tell you my story from the very beginning up until now. And who knows, maybe it will help someone, maybe it'll inspire someone. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people watching this video that don't share the same beliefs as me and don't agree with what I say. I'm not going to hate you for that. I'm not gonna see you any differently. And so I just, I hope that there can be a level of respect here where like I do believe what I believe, but if you don't, that's okay too. Also, I I have no plan. I have no notes, nothing. I was gonna write some notes just so I wouldn't forget anything, but I just wanted this to be a super like casual conversation. So I don't actually know where this is going, but that's also okay. So I have been a Christian for as long as I can remember. My family were Christian, my family, like my aunts and uncles and stuff, like we would all go to church. My friends went to church too. Like I always knew faith and I knew Christianity. And then when I was about 10 or 11, I can't exactly remember but I just know that I was sitting in my room one night I think I was listening to a Hillsong CD you know back when you would buy CDs and you'd like have the like artwork and you'd flip through the pages where it has like the songs and stuff I was looking through that so there was this one Hillsong album I'll put it up on the screen I can't remember what it's called but I know exactly what it looks like and when you would open the CD there was like a booklet that you would flip through and I think in that had like a prayer if you wanted to give your life to God and I remember reading it and just going like I haven't given my life to God and then so I said that prayer and then so that is my memory of giving my life to God I went to a Christian school I had awesome Christian friends and I had friends that weren't Christian too I wasn't like only friends with Christian people but I'm just trying to say like I was always surrounded by it and um, I was really blessed I went to youth group I loved youth group I went to church and so I, I guess it wasn't until I moved cities when I was about 15 I moved to a new city I moved to Brisbane and I moved schools and I had to leave my friends my school which I loved my youth group I just had to leave everything um, and go to Brisbane. And my new school that I was going to wasn't a Christian school. It was just an, a private, like, non-denominational school. And so there weren't many Christian people that I knew there. I'm not actually sure if there were any Christian people in my grade. I wasn't friends with any anyway. I guess that was the first time that I had ever been sort of challenged about my faith because it was just all I knew. It was all I was surrounded by. So I went from my Christian school to going to a school where people were into drinking and smoking and partying and swearing and I just didn't do any of that. So that was the first time that I, I wasn't ashamed of my faith, but I just wasn't very like vocal about it. I'm not really going to go into that, but that was just sort of the first time in my life where I was challenged about my faith. So sort of during that time, a couple years later, um, I was surrounded by people who didn't believe what I believed in and that really made me question my faith. That was the first time that I had ever questioned what I believed in. Why do I actually believe this? I think I was just always used to believing what I believed and I didn't know why I believed it. I started looking into other religions and different churches just because I was so confused. And I sort of stopped going to the church that I was going to at the time. This probably lasted a couple of months, maybe six to 12 months that I was sort of confused at where I was at. But at the end of the day, it just didn't sit well with me and it didn't feel right what I was doing and other things that I was looking into. It's weird, like that time in my life, I don't remember a lot of the details that happened with my faith. Like I don't remember when I started going back to church or anything like that, but I just know something in me didn't fully sit right with what I was looking into. I wish I could give you more detail about it, but I don't really remember it. But all I know is I started going back to my church. I was making friends at my church. I was getting more into my Bible. I was praying. And I just feel like going through that season of confusion and just questioning like what I believed. I came out the other end and my faith just like skyrocketed. And that's just the only way I can explain it. I got so happy and content with where I was in my faith. And it's crazy because a couple months after I fully like started going back to church and getting back into my faith and stuff, God blessed me with Gabriel. And it's just crazy to me, like the huge blessing that Gabriel was to me 
and the perfect timing that it just all happened. So that is probably the main chunk of my story. I really wish I could tell you more about like what made me click or anything like that, but I honestly don't remember. But I fully just rededicated my life to God and he just blessed me immensely. Also having someone like Gabe when he came into my life and even to this day, he taught me so much and he still teaches me so much about faith and just about Christianity. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get emotional. He just loves God so much. I don't wanna cry right now. So I guess that brings the story to like present day. A lot of you guys know, majority of you guys know, but if you don't, I'll just quickly explain. Gabe and I got married at the end of 2016 and then we moved me over to LA. So we are still going through my residency. It's been two and a half years. And because of some mistakes that were made um, in my case, I can't leave the country basically until my residency is sorted. We are almost done. Thankfully, we just have um, an interview, but we have been waiting months and months and months for an interview notice so if you guys could please pray for that I would so appreciate it. For the last two and a half years I haven't been able to visit home, I haven't been able to visit my family, my grandparents, my best friends and moving to a new country is really hard. Are you guys listening? This is Los Angeles. People are so rude with their honking, it's insane. Moving to a new country is already so, so hard. Already going through that difficult transition and then not being able to go back home. Um, it's been the toughest two and a half years of my life. <sighs> you guys are also probably sick of me talking about this too, but um, through this whole, oh my gosh, I'm so emotional. Going through this whole residency journey has really pushed me with my faith and I'm really oh gosh I'm really lucky I'm really lucky that I have someone like Gabriel with me he helps me so much um, I'm so thankful for all the times that he has picked me up all the times that he will just sit with me when I'm sad and he doesn't ask questions he just fully understands he'll pray with me and he'll just like be with me ah. I'm really thankful that I have him to go through this with. It has pushed my faith a lot. You know, some days I'll just be sad and I'll wonder like, why is this happening? Like I fully believe in God's plan and God's timing, but sometimes it's just so hard. We're doing everything right and like legally and I just, it's hard that it's taking so long. I know a lot of you will probably say it takes long for everyone because it does. It does take such a long time, but since speaking about it and since telling you guys about it, I get messages probably every day at least a couple times a week of people either asking me about it or telling me about their journey and I have people tell me that they get their interview in three months six months even a year and so that is kind of hard I don't want this video to be negative and sad because I love my God and I love my faith and I love my relationship with God and so I want this to be a happy video. I also do want to be very honest and say that it has pushed my faith. During this season of my life, this two and a half years, I've had to put my trust fully in God, just knowing that he has the best for me and that his timing is perfect. And for whatever reason that I don't have my interview yet, and for whatever reason, I don't know when I'm gonna have my interview. I just need to trust that God's timing is perfect. And that is really what gets me through. I don't know how I would be able to go through this journey if I didn't have my faith and my trust in God. Because even though I go through some really sad days where I'm just confused, at the end of the day, I still have this peace of just knowing that like God is with me and God loves me and he's looking out for me. I don't want this to be sad anymore. Even though I go through some really sad days, I have such a peace and a joy in God because I know he's with me in tough moments and in sad moments. I know he's guiding me through this and I know his timing is perfect. I remind myself that every day. What is that noise outside? I'm so sorry with all the noises in this video. That is my story. Sorry that it got so emotional. I was not expecting that at all. I hope all of that made sense. I know probably when I'm editing this, I'm going, oh my gosh, I missed out this, I missed out this. But in general, that is my story. I'm really worried that I missed out a lot or that I didn't talk about the Bible enough or I didn't talk about this enough. So I'm sorry if this was different than you expected it to be. It is literally just my story. If you have any questions about faith or anything that I mentioned, um, feel free to tweet me. That's kind of where I keep up with you guys and chat back to you guys a lot. So my Twitter is at Jess Conti if you want to go follow me on there and chat with me on there. God bless you guys. I love you and I'll see you in my next video.
拜。